a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regained their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord Are you the one who is to come? Considering that John is Jesus' cousin, and recognizes him even while inside the womb. It is strange that John in prison would send messengers to ask Jesus, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Let us remember, however, that the infancy stories were written after the accounts of Jesus' public ministry, and in this ministry, the relationship between Jesus and John especially from the point of view of their respective followers, is far from smooth. It appears that Luke has left intact the rough edges of the Gospel as shown by John's questioning. What makes John doubt that Jesus is indeed the one who is to come? What probably he has in mind is the return of the fiery prophet of reform, Elijah. Before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day. John himself speaks of the judgment that the coming one will execute. His axe will cut every tree that does not produce good fruit, and he will burn the chaff with an unquenchable fire. The ministry of Jesus is probably reported to John by his disciples, does not exhibit this burning zeal. Instead, Jesus heals, restores the sight of the blind, and forgives sinners. He acts more as a humble servant of Yahweh rather than Elijah Redivivus, the fiery reformer come back to life and threatening sinners. Jesus invites John to see that while he may not answer his expectation, he is indeed the expected one, the Messiah. He comes not as a king and judge, but as God's servant who will take away the guilt of men and women and cure their illnesses.